Hi guys, this is Bill from Spencer1984.com and today we're going to be taking a look at a classic kit from AMT Retail, the Orange Blossom Special 2. And taking a look at the box, we got a really nice photo of the truck doing what it does best here on the cover. And they've got that repeated on both ends of the box. On this side, we got some close-up pictures of the model kit. And on the other side, you've got all of the legal information and specs on the truck. And now taking a look inside the box, I'm going to start off with the decal sheet, which is showing its age a little bit. We got some little spots here on it, but you can see they're still looking pretty sharp. And I am going to be taking a scan of these before I build the truck, just in case these are too old to actually work properly. So I'll have myself a backup. We got AMT or Tell wants your advice. Yeah, look at that. You can back then buy a kit, hobby store, toy store, department store, drug store, catalog showroom, all these great options. So that's kind of a fun thing. Business reply card. And we've got a huge instruction sheet here. And this is all tabloid size, stapled with massive drawings. Got a big introduction right there. Along with the technical specifications. And some building tips on this page. And once you get into it, they actually give you written out instructions along with just the exploded diagrams. And they even give you some paint tips for every step. These are pretty impressive, actually. Very unlike what we're seeing right now. Got some co cells here, starting with the kit that you just got. AMT also had a Bigfoot kit and Tennessee Thunder. And the other thing I like about these is they're actually punched so that you can put these in a three ring binder if you wanted to keep them. So that's pretty cool. And to the kit itself, the tires, we're starting with some puller tires which I know there are some resin copies available nowadays, and as far as I can tell, they basically started with the tires that came in this kit. Uh, you do have to clean up the back sides of them, but they're nice and sharp. Got some Firestone skinnies for the front. All the parts were bagged. So we got the cab, which is pretty sharp. Got some nice molded detail there for the door handles, all the seams. Got a bunch of remove tabs along with this big chunk of plastic here. But as far as flash goes, uh, there really isn't any on it at all to speak of. Just a little, little flap right there. That's it. Fenders, sides of the box, beginnings of the rear end, and again, those are nicely cast. A couple of ejection pin marks there 
but since the bed has a tonneau cover over it, you really don't even have to clean those up if you don't want to. Otherwise, casting is nice and sharp on all these. I've got said tonneau cover, rest of the rear end, headlight, front fenders, front axle, roll bar and frame components. We've got the inside of the cab right there, and it's actually got textured door panels on it. And some diamond plate there on the floor, along with the shift console. Nice detailing there again. Got some wheels, dashboard, and that actually does have the gauges cast in with some readable numbers in there. Uh, we've got the other headlight that broke off of its sprue there. Cylinder heads, tank, tailgate in front of the box, drive shaft here. Uh, steering wheel is nice and delicate. actually has the ribs on the back side of it like it's supposed to. That's nice work there. And here we have the main frame components. We've got the two engine halves, the hood, and the seat that continues the diamond pattern that we saw on the door panels. Got some nice detail here on the springs. Both sides, and they don't have ejector pin marks in it. So that's a nice touch. And we got some clear parts here. We've got the windshield, side windows, and the headlights. Got the back window. It's a separate. Just came off the sprue for me. And we've got two chrome sprues here. I'm not going to be taking these out of their bags since they're nicely packed and not scratched up at all. So bear with me on that. You got the grill. Yep. Front bumper there. Some really nice diamond plate running boards. Got the valve covers. And some more engine components up here. And plating is really nice on this. Uh, I'm not really seeing any swirls. You got just a little tiny bit of ghosting right there where it meets the sprue but I'm having to search to find that. And on this side we've got the headlight bezels, the wheels, the tanks, the exhaust pipes, which those are all separate, the oil pan, and the supercharger belt. I don't know if you can see or not, but the separation seam on these is almost non-existent. So this is just a really nicely cast kit. It does have a metal axle for the rear. And then the last thing is weights. Lots and lots of weights. And each one is cast on both sides. So you got a total here of 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 2, 4, 6, 28 in this kit. A pretty basic kit, not a ton of parts. But what is here looks really good. Uh, this was definitely a high water mark as far as casting quality goes. Uh, unfortunately, they are very difficult to find. Uh, I lucked into getting this one many years ago. And I'm finally going to get around to building it this year. 
as well. Yeah, if you find one at a reasonable price, it's definitely worthwhile because, uh, like I said, they did a nice job on it. And it is an unusual subject matter. And so that's it. The Orange Blossom Special 2. Thanks for watching.